FEC is not a problem. I'm telling you, I'm not in economics, but I've been Minister of Finance for eight years. I mean, you not Niaga, you borrow money, this year you have a deficit. But it's an investment. Okay. But you go continuously deficit and waste and leakages and corruption. That's where the problem lies. For 14 years, you register deficit that is not tenable. It's untenable in economic sense. Now, how do we deal with it? 20 billion minimum loss due to leakages, corruption annually. Pamuda report. It's not our opposition. Now, you, 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 you force your way through and just give a warning. Any minister or secretary of ministry have any corrupt dealers who will hang you. I mean, not literally hang you. Lawyers will expect <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say that, people think, fear. Look, you know, you must learn from the experience of Hong Kong. There is Hong Kong Commission for Anti-Corruption. Uh, Hong Kong HCAC, uh, uh, right? One of the worst in terms of corrupt uh, practices in the Asia in the 60s. They had Hong Kong Anti-Corruption Commission, tough legislation, very qualified staff, very well funded, independent. Imagine in a matter of five years, we reached an extremely good record. So not completely free, still, but at least you have one of the best standards. It can be done. How much you say? Easily 10 billion. MKRA and NKRA, when you call so good poor fellow. And nobody understands. I don't think he understands this about you. NKRA, NKRA. You know what's the total fund? Five billion. I see. If I become prime minister, I cut that immediately. Tapaya and carry five billion. Let's say ten billion leakages, corruption, stadium, unto four hundred million. Istana Negara cost four hundred million, and then after two years, increased to eight hundred million. Now close to one billion. And they say I'm anti Raja because I criticize Istana Negara. No. <laughs> I am pro Raja, that's why it costs 400 million. <laughs> but you, it costs 1 billion, you are actually anti Raja. Because people will be angry against Raja for taking so much money. So there are specific measures that you need to take. Not immediately. I don't believe that we can do it immediately. But the one year, you cut everything, you cannot. Because with the expense of uh, education, public health, infrastructure, which you can't compromise, you can't touch. But I think this needs to be done because. Uh, you don't address deficit through waste. No tender. You can make the Sunyam Sea. Billy, Polo, Billy, Tada tender. Negotiate. Make cost. The cost will increase invariably. Natural. You have a tender process, then you can actually access the actual price. You don't, you negotiate. Send a bank to the kids, you think it's I mean, I've seen it. That's why I think. Um, both experience, we got the jail experience, but the experience in government also helped. Don't forget that. We say, Allah, no, you put some. But actually, it was, 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 it was a good uh, experience in the sense you understand the workings better. And I, I believe we can do it. But for now, it is a major problem. Uh, you know, this Occupy Wall Street problem is, is also a major thing. It is all the excesses of uh, a capitalist system. It's also you. So people must start th th thinking about this. You register billions of profit, and then major loss. There's a bailout. You don't suffer. The poor guys suffer. Then you know these issues are now being discussed or debated. I don't. Be, I don't think that they are winning in terms of this sort of mass movement. But these questions are being discussed, deliberated. There's a new discourse in the. Uh, political uh, system uh, or debate in, in the United States on the issue of uh, economic management and financial mafias. Thank you very much.